One of the things that I noticed about you and what I, I feel like what makes you different from a lot of uh, deathmatch wrestlers is in the ways that you can tell a story and how you come in the ring, how you hold your persona. But what I really want to know is, is what led you into the whole deathmatch arena? Well, I've been into deathmatching since even watching FMW, like early 2000s, I've, I found the earlier FMW stuff when LimeWire was really prevalent. You had Kazaa, those later versions of Napster. Me and my friends would download stuff and we found like FMW stuff with Hayabusa and Onita. And then that's where I started finding like CZW stuff. And then they were also on public access. And that's where I seen Sick Nick Mondo, Nick Gage, Justice Payne, Lobo, Zandig. And I was like, oh, they're using glass. Like uh, that, this isn't fake wrestling. This isn't even ECW. This is hard, more hardcore than ECW. And I got really into it. So then when I broke into the business, initially I wanted to be a deathmatch wrestler. But, you know, I let, obviously people kind of talk you into the route of learn how to wrestle before you start doing that. Because too many guys that get into the wrestling industry who want to be hardcore wrestlers, to get caught into the loop of, hey, I want to be a hardcore wrestler from the get-go. Forget about learning how to do holds and psychology. Uh, just get me in the ring. I'll do a bunch of cool shit. And then I'll do it with weapons. And then that'll compensate for all the loss of, of technical mat skill and psychology. So I was one of the rare guys who decided to hone his skills in first before I jumped into it. So then by the time I jumped into it, I was pretty much ready from the get-go.